Good morning, everyone. It is 11.39 on Friday, March the 26th. I am at home today. I'm kind of on call. Um, I'm working from home. Um, well, today's supposed to be my studio day, but my uh, boss asked me if I could do some work that he sends me, and I said yes, because that's my job. Plus, he is having some um, minor surgery next week, so he really wants to get some stuff done before his recovery phase, so totally understand. So yeah, kind of like checking my email and I'll probably get some work towards the afternoon. That's when he gets stuff to me. Um, but my boyfriend and I are hoping to go do a grocery run because we've been putting it off for a while. We've been doing a lot of takeout. Anyway, um, my zit is better. It's now just a scar which hopefully will fade. I This morning I just I had a shower and then I was like, I don't know what I'm doing with my bangs. So I just cut it straight through and it's less thick than last time which is great but i don't know it's not completely dry yet so i'm not sure anyway um i want to water the plants i bought i have one of these i got it at the dollar store i had a i had a blue one and now that spring is covering around the dollar stores and a bunch of you know grocery stores are adding in gardening stuff and i found a pink one so this one is going to stay up here in my room so i don't forget to water my plants i just have to fill it up with water the other thing i got at the dollar store is this craft punch half of it doesn't it look like a bite mark so i said i'd get it it was a dollar 25 plus taxes of course so yeah um before i get started on my day i'm gonna make myself some coffee so let's make coffee Yesterday was actually fairly warm. Uh, in the afternoon, it, it reached to about 20, 21 degrees Celsius, and then it started to rain and stuff. I'm wearing my dress today. This is a dress. It's great. Um, it's warm enough. I haven't really checked the weather this morning, but I felt like wearing the dress, so I did. <laughs> also, yesterday, this is really interesting, we got um, some cloth masks in the mail and hand sanitizer. It came with a card that said that um, it's from a community health center. So it came with a card that um, advertised services if you're needing to get groceries and if you need like counseling and you know cloth masks or mask and hand sanitizer, you can contact them. I think it's mostly for you know older people who have no help or have trouble getting help with groceries and stuff it's really cool they sent us two so my boyfriend and i have now like these plain black cloth masks that we can use as backup and of course hand sanitizer okay coffee ow <laughs> I was doing some sketching the night before, not yesterday, Wednesday night. Um, I wanted to just sketch some stuff out. I kind of like this pose here of this gal, but it's just a gal. <laughs> I like to have a little bit more story behind my illustrations. I mean, she's cute and I can finish her up, but I kind of want to add something else. Maybe she'll have a tail, another thing, I don't know. Um, some wings, I'm not sure, but... Um, I have it here, chilling. Maybe I'll get an, a start, a, an idea some, at some point today. That's the uh, sketch for the other illustrations, which I'm actually putting up on InPrint if you want a print of it. I've been trying to do better with updating stuff that I have, like my web comics, uh, my InPrint shop I've had for a while, but I haven't updated it in forever. So um, because I don't do much print in my own shop, it's a good idea to have them on InPrint. So I'm going to add that as a print. I think that's the, I think it's pretty um, up to date in terms of what I want in there. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Today's schedule is nothing really. I'm going to be doing the work if I get it from my boss, but I have to do a big commission today. So that's all I'm doing. So I have, I'm getting Photoshop ready so I can print, mm -hmm. I can edit the illustration, then print it out and start working on it. It'll be on my social media and my vlogs and stuff, so we'll work on it together as best as I can. I usually don't like filming paintings because I like to be really in them. It's different from my phone because I can just, you know, I just film it as I go. 
anyway um that's what i'm gonna be doing so let me just add this print now i have to really think of an an um a title for this i'm gonna set up my tripod i usually use my candle and my box my mug box and that's the tripod i think i'm gonna call it I think I'm gonna call it mouth. I, I think my original idea for it was called, it was gonna be. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, my camera is making the footage weird, but I, I thought I'd look at it as a phone case and it would be really cool, but it's kind of covered up and I don't have any other avenues to edit the illustration itself. But I don't know, maybe I should just keep it on. Like this doesn't look bad if you have the iPhone 5C the iPhone 5, 5S or SE doesn't look that bad, but this stuff, like, oh, let's look at the Samsung models. So this one's the Samsung Galaxy. Oh yeah, that's not good. Maybe I'll just take it off, actually. Yeah, let's just take it off of there. Manage my shop, I think. In case, get rid of that. How do I get rid of it? Yeah, it'd be really cool, but it doesn't look good. It'd be cool on a shirt, actually. I would like it on a shirt. And then I would have to make people look at it. I'm just going off of my boyfriend's reaction. He he saw me working on it. Then he was like, I don't want to look at it any longer. <laughs> so he left. And he's like, don't show me that. So I'm not showing it to him. I really wanted to get his opinion, but I understand. He doesn't want it in his brain. Okay. Very cool. Let's fix. I want to make a post and say it's there. Hey guys, so it's now four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, my boyfriend and I went out to get some groceries and I'm back from that. Before that, I got some work for my boss, so I was doing it. But before that, I was also working on the commission, like I said. So I thought I'd talk about it now in the vlog, show you the progress of it. So I was commissioned by somebody uh, to illustrate pretty much whatever I want. It's pretty open. Uh, the only theme that she wanted was like a monster girl in a modern setting and it has to have like a story around it or it, it it she would like it to have a story around it like a lot of my older pieces with November. i mean i still do that but this one is a bit more involved with a bit more story so this is what i came up with this is actually the second thumbnail because the first one the first idea was a little bit too kind of rustic for her she wanted a bit more modern so this is what i came up with this is the second illustration i sent her and um so I came up with a unicorn centaur girl at like the library or something and there is a witch here showing her a book and I wrote the last unicorn kind of just for fun. So uh, there's going to be books and then this is a book cart with a bunch of books and then yeah so it's going to be 9 by 12 and I sent this off to her and she really liked the idea. The only big change she wanted to make was the witch's hooked nose Ooh, because she made me aware of this. And I didn't really think about it, which is kind of crazy, but uh, the hook nose here, it's very, you know, it's very, it's everywhere when you're looking at witches, drawings of witches, illustrations of witches, like Studio Ghibli, remember the, um, what's her name? I forgot, <laughs> the witch, she has the hook nose, but there's a long, long history about, you know, anti-Semitism and witches and the hook nose, that, that just, you know, that image of it it's very anti-semitic so i never really thought about that i only thought you know witches have hook nose because hook nose because of all of the media i've consumed in my life where witches look like this usually and you know it's right it's true so she sent me that and she wanted to change it and i was like yeah totally i, I understand where you're coming from so i altered the idea and uh, i redid the thumbnail which i sent off today and she approved it she liked it honestly she didn't really need to approve it <laughs> I, like i really wanted to send thumbnails and stuff because it's an expensive commission it's gonna be a big one and it's gonna be detailed so anyway so i changed the idea up and now it's just like this demon witch i even did a color palette which for some reason the colors are not on here so let me just show you the colors 
can pop up on my window. So this is the color palette. Uh, it will obviously change once I do add colors. This is what I sent off to her. She really liked, um, you know, the fashion that I have in my illustrations. So I'm going to kind of play up the, the, the unicorn centaur's outfit. Like she has dyed hair too. Uh, she has some earrings and then I might play around with her, you know, hoofs and stuff. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the witch has become this like demon witch now with long hair that's kind of curling around and then grabbing one of the feet of the the princess or whatever of the unicorn so this is what i sent her with the colors again it'll change once i set it up into traditional like once it goes into the paper but yeah so i don't know if i think she watches the vlogs but in case she's watching this thank you so much for commissioning me it's so nice to have a commission that's so open and like we are, we have this back and forth email where she's open to ideas and stuff it's just really fun this is the first time i've actually had something like that i think um and so she paid $200 for this commission, which is my biggest commission ever. It's kind of crazy. And I am open for projects like this if anybody wants to shell out money. But, you know, she told, she brought it up herself. I didn't advertise it anywhere. But yeah, um, I'm excited. So I will be working on this. I printed out the lines. Let me grab that and see how it turned out. And it will be on a 9 by 12 So here it is. The transfer begins. I like how it's turning out. It'll change again, obviously, once I start working on it. But um, I'm a little bit nervous about the books. But hopefully it works out. I might have to do some experiments before I finalize the books. I'm so shiny. Okay, I think I'm going to grab a snack. I'm going to grab some oranges. I bought some oranges. They look really good, so I'm excited to have one. Yeah, all right, I'll update you guys later. Here it is, transferred in pencil on watercolor paper. And I think that's where I'm gonna stop here for now. I'm going to work on this one. I kind of want to see where I, what I come up with. So take a break on this. afternoon it's Tuesday <laughs> um, February the no March the 30th just turned noon um, and yeah uh, this is what I look like today I had um, I spent an hour or two well I spent about an hour playing around with my eyeliners and I was like I'm not going anywhere today so I decided to do this my eyes are tearing up which is not good let me just wipe my tears off yeah, my mom watches my vlog, so she's probably looking at the screen right now being like, oh what God. the hell did my daughter do? I, I've just been playing around with all my eyeliners, and I saw this TikTok of this really cute uh, makeup look by this girl. And obviously, it, mine does not look like that because I didn't really plan it out. But hers looks so sick. I can't play the video because you'll hear the music and YouTube's not going to like that, but... She, I don't know this isn't the final product but it's so cool hold on let me see there i saw this tiktok and i was obsessed and i didn't go as far as doing it all over my lips and make she had it on her teeth too to make her teeth look like sharp teeth but this is my inspiration and i thought it was really cute so i wanted to do it and i did and all right so um bear with me yeah uh, you're you're gonna be looking at this for a while as i vlog throughout the day so yesterday I went to work and then I came back home and I spent some time working on some spice cake stuff. I worked on another episode over the weekend so if you are a member of mine you'll probably you can read that right now. It'll be up on Tapastic, on Tapas Comics and uh, Webtoon over the weekend but I was working on like I don't know what you call them but if you've read some mangas 
um, especially the mangas that have like a long series we're going like um, Ranma or Inuyasha I, I read those a lot as a kid so I really like Rumiko Takahashi stuff but um, I don't know what they're called but it like they kind of break up the story with these like vanity shots of the characters of the characters I don't know just like wearing cute outfits or doing something going to a festival and it's just a really cute illustration so I wanted to do something like that for my characters for Spice Cake so I spent all night working on it. I did even film it and I was thinking of doing that as the video for this week instead of an art journal video. Um, but uh, I worked on it again this morning and I just keep tinkering with it and it's not to my, you know, 100% liking. So I don't even know if I want to post it anymore, but I'll show you here. I haven't decided yet whether or not I will make it into a YouTube video. Don't look at the eye makeup too closely. You can see it's not perfect. Yeah, this is it. It's on my Cintiq, so it's not the best color, but I don't know. I I like them individually, but I feel like I didn't plan it out too well in terms of them being together in a page. So this is Stella, and this is Abbott, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I like it, but I don't at the same time. And I kind of made it to look like um, a manga cover. So the title in like a volume, even though my work is probably not going to be in a volume. But yeah, I just feel like this space is too empty. I should have planned it out a little bit more. I do like how it looks, but in totality, I'm not sure. So yeah, this is what I was working on. And now I'm going to shift gears and actually pack some member of rewards. It is the 30th, so I figure that will be a good idea. So I'm just going to shift gears, stop, you know, obsessing over this illustration and kind of just let it stew a little bit. Think about whether or not I do want to showcase it as a video or redo it because I, I might do that. But I should do something productive, something else at least, and work on my members rewards. So that's what I'm going to do. what it looks like with this um, misprint so this got not cut good I'll put it on the agenda which I have not updated um, oh my gosh it's already April Let's put that one up there and... now it looks like very cute let me put another one. Even if it miscut, the clear ones are okay because they still look good. And the cricket is going, but oh, remember that thing I got from the dollar store? That corner or that puncher? Paper puncher? Well, let's try it on these notes. So it's this thing. Just gonna cut halfway. There it is. It kind of looks like a bite mark. I'll try again. I mean, not really, but <laughs> let me just try it anyway. I don't know. I might just leave it without the bite marks. able to do a photo shoot uh, the only thing that's missing here is the print which I need to work on so can these put away I love these clackety teeth printing out more notes I printed and folded a bunch of the zines I have to do a few more the stickers I'm all done I have to print out a few more of these um, big stickers and um, 
yeah, pretty good. And I still have to write the addresses on the envelopes, but I'm gonna take a break and eat some pineapple. I bought some pineapple over the weekend, so I'm excited. This clown is gonna sit and eat, and I'm going, well, I'm eating, I'm gonna post the, those pictures on Twitter and Instagram because today is the 30th and the last day to be a member to get the Mukbang March rewards is tomorrow, so. morning it is wednesday march the 31st and i pretty much just woke up i made maybe like 15 minutes ago i made coffee it's 1 34 in the afternoon so let me tell you what happened i did put on some concealer for this but it came off i guess when i was napping so anyway what happened is was that i scheduled a call with somebody from class 101 at 6 45 in the morning she had this um she sent me this calendar link where i can pick a time that works out for her but also works out for me because she's in and it's six, I picked 645 because one she's in the other side of the world so the time differences are pretty vast so and I decided to pick up 645 because I liked waking up early anyway so yeah I woke up I did the call and then after afterwards I realized I kind of wanted to sleep again so that's why I just woke up right now uh, so uh, yeah, let me tell you a little bit about this call. So if you watched a couple vlogs ago, maybe this was maybe this was almost a year ago, I don't remember. But Class 101 reached out to me. They're like Skillshare or like that kind of platform where they will host, you know, classes for people to take. Um, I got as far as creating a campaign page where I would have to get 200 votes to get the class, you know, to the next step. Um, but I never reached 200 votes or 200 people interested in the class, so it eventually never happened. Um, the class was about creating a series of illustrations with color pencils, and I don't know if it was because I didn't do my part to, you know, advertise it as as best as I can. Uh, but yeah, it just never went through. It never happened. So they reached out to me again about maybe two weeks ago, saying if I would be willing to try it again. I did tell them that I had already tried it but it never happened but they wanted to try it again so I had a call with her um, and the campaign might start in the next week or so we'll see if I get the 200 votes this time around and if not it was just not meant to be um, I guess I'll try harder this time advertising it I thought I did I was kind of like tweeting and you know posting about it at least once a day uh, but We'll see where it goes. Uh, if it does happen, it'll be a slightly different, you know, I have a slightly different idea. It would be about, you know, color pencils still in some watercolor, but I would want to uh, help. I would, I would like make classes, the cur curriculum step by step, where if it does happen, students can, you know, draw something with me something concrete i will make a character and we'll do it all step by step something like that so that's my idea and of, and of course it's going to be a on the kind of creepy side of stuff but character creation with color pencils is what i'm aiming for anyway look out for that if you're interested in maybe helping that out getting those votes i don't remember how much votes i got last time i think i got a hundred or something like that but we'll see so that's what it was. So the plan for today, I actually set up my desk here to do some art journaling. This week is an art journal video and I haven't gotten it up yet and it's already Wednesday. So that's what I'll be doing and I will be doing the like my March highlights and stuff because it's already the 31st today. Yeah, um, I didn't do any crazy makeup today because I was seeing the lady from class 101. But all right, um, I'm a little bit groggy still. Hopefully I wake up in the next minute, few minutes. Oh, and let me show you the progress of the painting yesterday. I don't remember how much I vlogged about that, but let's let's see. Yeah, I don't remember if I vlogged it, but I started this illustration of, you know, like a little demon girl with 
a pierogi or a dumpling and she's eating a dumpling and her stomach is exposed because she unbelted it because she's been eating a lot that was the idea so it's just the character uh, but I didn't like how the face turned out it was a little bit too strange but not in a good way like uh, I had a I, I didn't really you know properly sketch out the eyes the sketch for the face was not very clean so this is what happened it did not turn out well i tried it a second time which is right here and i like how it looks but i don't like how it does not hang together cohesively like why does she have why does she look like that with you know her cute dyed hair and she has snake eyes and but her outfit is just so plain kind of like l from death note so it doesn't really jive. I might finish it because it is looking, it looks good. I might finish it and I might put it up on the store for sale as an original. But in terms of the idea for me, it does not hang together. Like it just, the, there's just a divergence with the with how she looks versus what she's wearing. If I had planned out what she was wearing to be a bit more kind of like on the cool side, like a bit more hip, then that would work out. But right now it's just kind of weird and just strange. So um and then I, I i did something you can see my tripod <laughs> i did something here so this one is completely out of left field it's totally different she's no she has still has the the devil's tail and stuff but i was thinking when i was in the bathroom <laughs> taking a break what if she's eating like gummy worms or candy and her mouth is open and you can see the chunks of candy but instead of chunks of candy it's people and um she's sitting on a on a little bench stool thing and yeah so totally different i don't think i'm going to be adding the wings i don't know what it is with me with big mouths but i think they're creepy so yeah um so there's that the sketch is done i just need to you know sit down and do it but and that's still pending i still need to adjust the pencils on that one uh but yeah that's that's in queue i like kind of working on multiple things at the same time all right, so that's the painting update. Here is the aftermath of the art journaling. I'm going to clean this up and work on my doodle calendar because it has not been updated, like I said in the art journal video, since the 13th of March, and that's very disappointing. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to set up my April doodle calendar because I really like these. I just, March was kind of crazy for me. So um, my Witch and Familiar series on Neon Mob is now live and I'm going to open up a pack. I'm trying not to open up my packs, like free packs from my own series, but I, I, I love seeing it. So let's open this one. So you, I, I'm opening up, opening up a freebie pack and this one, flip it. I got a Bright Familiar, which is very rare. Cool. Let's, let's flip the other one and going for a slither which is a rare card cool um i'll open another pack uh two free packs today so i'm not like the best trader i just trade stuff for free like i open freebie packs up and i collect points but i haven't bought any packs yet with like real money all right let's uh flip this one a chili i don't i already forgot what i called this chili broom is that the Chili Broom 3000? And this is a common card. I think I already have this one. I don't remember. Oh yeah, it's new. So I don't have it in my in my um, stack yet. And Lunch Break, which is common. And this one I already have because it doesn't say new on it. So I have a... This is a duplicate pretty much. Alright, I think that's it. I'm going to open up another pack from... I've been working on this series here. Where do I go? I go back to my profile. I've been trying to open up a bunch of the sausage dog ones. I still don't know how to. Your collection, there you go. They updated the site recently, so that's my grade. I am a uh, F plus trader grade. <laughs> but I've been really collecting this one, the series. It's called Sausage Dog. It's so cute. So every day I kind of go and get the freebie pack. So I open up. Let's open up this one. Let's flip it. And I got nachos, which is new. It's an uncommon card. 
and I have chopped up sausage dog which is extra rare and this is also new so I don't actually have these two in my collection let's open up another pack sliced bread and it's rare and it's new this absolutely will not survive the amount of sauce I will be using for bread <laughs> that's the description and let's flip this one so I already have this one this barbecue card you can't have meat without having a barbecue you just can't and this is a common card I'm gonna open up another pack I've traded a couple times with some people oh this is a duplicate and this is new shoestring potatoes the best kind of potatoes and a must ingredient for your hot dogs and it is a very rare do I have another pack yes no I don't so I have no free packs left and for the day I have three free packs to open so I'm gonna work on this Egyptian Pantheon series again uh, this one you can see I'm 52% collected this one I'm only 20% so I'm going to get my freebie packs from here let's see oh yeah let's open up so I'm going to continue doing this because I haven't done it today this one is the Thoth Ibis I don't have this one and it's uncommon let's flip the other one I already have this one and it is a common card so yeah that's how it works so you can kind of you can play without having to purchase anything and it's kind of cute seeing the different kinds of art um i did vlog this morning i'm just cutting up some more stickers and notes for the mukbang march to be sent off next week i don't think i'll get it to the post office by friday uh, but i just finished editing the art journal video so obviously i won't be doing the the spice cake kind of vanity page that i talked about i might just include it in this vlog and then redraw it honestly that's what i feel like doing eventually i am pretty pooped by like right now though i feel like i'm just gonna cut up some more stuff and then go downstairs and just chill for the rest of the night i think it was because of waking up early and then going back to bed that messed me up a little bit so uh yeah hopefully tomorrow i will be a little bit more energetic i did get some stuff done i did that call and then i filled up the, the info page and then what else did i do oh yeah i filmed i did the art journal i filmed it and then I was going to paint but I decided to just do this like kind of mind mind numbing relaxing sort of stuff just cutting stickers I did print out all the stickers that I needed for the art pals so I don't need to do any more of those the ones cut on the okay <laughs> the ones cut on the cricket I guess the camera just started to shift downwards I hope it wasn't distracting um yeah i'm gonna oh it's just finished exporting so i'm gonna start to upload this you can tell how tired i look with my eye bags i didn't i don't have any foundation on but my eye bags are just really coming out there coming for you today so we ordered more coffee too and i was actually browsing the beguiling which is a comic store here in toronto i was looking on amazon first and i was like you know what let's check out the beguiling and the tcaf uh, page and panel comic shop i was thinking of getting some uh, volumes of ranma i don't know how people say it ranma half or Ran ranma one half um it's a manga by rumiko takahashi i'm sure most of you have heard of it but it's like it's pretty prolific um if you haven't heard about it make sure to check it out it's a 90s manga and i don't think i've i, I think i've mentioned it before but rumiko takahashi's work and especially ranma one half is a biggest in, it's a, a really big inspiration for me along with junji ito stuff rumiko has been also like up there in terms of kind of comedy slice of life action um, comics. I really loved her comics growing up. I would go to the library and try to read all the Ranma manga volumes that I could get a hold of. I have not read all of them. There's a bunch of them and I was like kind of thinking because I'm restarting Spice Cake and Spice Cake is really inspired by Ranma just because I've I read Ranma and I wanted to do something of that you know kind of flavor 
comic like comedy slice of life but also a little bit of my horror stuff so i was looking on amazon at first for some volumes and they have updated volumes where there's uh, it's a two and one so there's volume one and two three and four and it's not so bad price wise on amazon but i decided to check the beguiling and they do have it they do have volumes but then i was like do i really need it or is this just like a phase because i'm working on spice cake i've always wanted to have the mangas i just my brain is just like i i can just save the money for something else but then like i spend so much money on food most of the stuff I spend money on is food. <laughs> like we bought coffee. The coffee's pretty expensive if you have an espresso, you know what I'm talking about. So and then I'd have to make space on my bookshelf. I did buy volumes of um what's this one called? I already forget. Last Man. It's a really good comic too or manga. Um, I was actually looking at it while I was working on Spice Cake. Really nice style. Art is by What's his name? What's his name? He's a Frenchman. But I just love the style of this comic book or this manga. Although, oh yeah, Bastien Vive. He's, I haven't followed him in a while, like his work in a while, because he's posted a little bit of some problematic illustrations, I think, in the last couple years. But his style is wonderful, really fluid just simple black and white gray scale that's why i bought a couple of these volumes i have six of them i think so like maybe my next collection would be ranma although i don't think i would ever finish the collection because there's a lot of volumes of that manga um yeah so i'm just that's another thing i'm thinking about is but i'm just like my birthday's coming up so i can purchase that but i was saving my birthday gift to myself for another like stationary haul but then i have so much stationary so maybe that's what i should gift myself for my birthday ranma volumes <laughs> i'm just thinking about it uh, i'm tired i was looking forward to experimenting with my eyeliner a little bit more but because i had that call this morning i decided not to and good thing i didn't because first i was going to meet up with somebody who does not know me like we we did a video call and then i didn't know i would go back to sleep so my makeup would have smudged anyway if i did decide to put eyeliner on so tomorrow i would think i might i might do it again thank you for well actually i haven't asked for your permission for me to you know look like that in the vlogs but it's entertainment for you i hope all right i'm getting tired i think i'm gonna wrap up here and probably brush my teeth and stuff so I can just head to bed. It's only like 7 o'clock, but I feel really tired. Alright, um, you'll see this mug tomorrow unless I decide to vlog again. But uh, yeah, chat chat later. We're two brothers, so despite being born eight years apart. We're both extremely close. They did everything together. Work, relax, show women and eat their livers. Travel. The Shanks are infamous in their naked homeland, but their antics are basically unheard of in the West. So, let's start from the beginning. It all began in 1999. Good morning. It's Thursday, April the 1st, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is my makeup today. I decided to go with just different color eyeshadows and some eyeliner. And yeah, I woke up pretty early. I streamed at like 8 o'clock in the morning until about now. I finished maybe about 10 minutes ago. And I was just redoing the vanity illustration for Spice Cake. So I'll show that to you. And I like it a lot better. Uh, I wanted to do a test stream. I wanted to see how it would work out. And it wasn't so bad. I don't, us I don't have my usual mic set up because my bro brother borrowed my webcam. But... Um, I'm hoping I can keep I can do more of them more than I've been doing which is none so yeah let me show you the new illustration so this is the old one that I worked on and then this is the new one so it's more simple let me just zoom in a little bit it's simpler kind of matches the comic style and then yeah I like it way better it tells more of a story they look quite resigned 
to be taking this photo or being together and yeah I like it a lot better so that's what I spent my day my the first few hours of my morning on I'm actually going to continue working on comics again I'm going to write or, or do the next um, episode so it can be ready for you know the week after uh, the episode that I finished is already up for members to read but I want to kind of work ahead so I can I'll be like a page ahead Wow, I can't talk anymore. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to make some coffee first. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the day today. I did more packaging uh, stuff yesterday for the members. Here's one of them. <laughs> the doodle that's supposed to be a pretzel. But this is what the doodle pals look like. The, the art pals are going to have a print along with this stuff. So yeah. That's what I did yesterday and that's what I'm gonna be this is what I'm gonna be doing today. Well, it's now 348 and I just finished page 16. The pages page numbers are a little bit weird, but I pin it I finished I finished the page and I I actually penciled in two pages so I'm gonna take a break before I ink the second what page and then I will post these right up on the members areas for my um club members to read and yeah pretty happy with how it looks I think I've settled on like a style mostly and obviously if this series does keep going the style will change which kind of scares me it's a little bit scary because obviously my style will evolve and like my skill level will change so if I do keep working on spice cake it's gonna change just like when you know Junji Ito's earlier books look so different compared to his newer ones. That kind of scares me because of my personality. Alright, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a break by going downstairs and doing something totally different. So, yeah, I'm crossing my fingers I get these two pages done. I'm pretty happy with them. Well, with this one so far. And the pacing is not so bad. I think I might be going overboard with the effects a little bit, like the brushes, but trying to rein that in all right okay <laughs> break time i had a pretty big big breakfast and our fridge is really not that stocked i bought a bunch of fruit but i ate it all so i have pomegranates these are big boys look at them it's gonna take a while to open up but let's go do it all right that's gonna be a snack that involves a lot of work. I wore a nice shirt. I was gonna wear my B shirt, but I knew I was gonna get cold, so I was like, why waste it when I'm gonna wear my robe anyway? All right, I remember cutting one of these one time, and I held the knife wrong, and as I was doing this, I stabbed myself right here, like right through. I have a scar from it. It's very faint now, but the knife really went through it. And it didn't really bleed, which was really scary, but I'm not going to do that again, so i got to be careful. I have a technique for this. So you want to cut off the top. I'm going to do... I don't actually know if I need to do the bottom, but I will do it anyway. slap it with a spatula and that's how I do it. I think I'm gonna cut it into quarters actually. I picked a good one. Here is half of the pomegranate. I'm gonna give it to my boyfriend. Uh, yeah, pretty good technique. It takes a little bit but it's pretty good. Nick. Oh. 
Thanks. And for the rest. And here is the other half. I think I got most of the seeds out of that, like, pretty good amount. It's, um, Tuesday morning. Garbage, I guess, is being picked up, if you can hear the sound of the truck. Um, yeah, so good morning. It is Tuesday, April the 6th. And I just got ready for the day. I did my makeup. Let me show you in somewhat better lighting if you're interested. Yeah, pretty simple today, just purple. My hooded eyelids prevent you from seeing the stuff that I did, but I have some eyeliner. I did the glitter underneath instead of anywhere else. Nothing crazy today, and I can't wear earrings because for the last few days, my ears have been acting up. They tend to get a reaction if I don't wear, if I wear earrings too often because I think I'm it's either a copper reaction or something. Oh, uh, by the way, let me show you a change in the dining room. Oh, right. So we moved our coffee table, coffee thingy. It used to be right here, and now it's right there. And it's a nice change. I feel like it opens up the living or the dining room a little bit more. Um, I still struggle with this. I love I love this painting, but I don't know how to. Put it up it's a a gift from a friend of ours he he had it at his uh italian restaurant until it closed but it's a specific kind of thing obviously the the little thing got left behind i think so i tried to put it up with command strips at one point but that failed because this it does not work so it's now just standing here we got it when we got the house so it's been over a year just you know, being underappreciated in the corner. Anyway, I am making coffee. Our coffee finally got restocked. We decided to buy a bunch more capsules. Here's some um, Kirkland Costco croissants. I've been really into croissants for the last couple, for the last two weeks or so. So when my parents invited me to go to Costco, I decided to buy some croissants. For some reason, croissants in Costco. Okay. Um, anyway, look at the... <laughs> indulgent coffee tr um, cabinet. You know, Nespresso is pretty expensive, but the coffee is quite nice, so we really like it. We really like flavored coffee. That's why I got a bunch of the hazelnut. That's my boyfriend's favorite. I really like the vanilla one. Well, vanilla custard pie. Um, and I got a caramel cookie, and then these are like more regular flavored. I'm going to have one of my... Uh, you know what? I'm going to have this one. I'll have this one for later. Usually, I have one coffee a day I find, but sometimes I will get two. So if I do feel like another one, I'll get the vanilla. But I'll do the caramel. No, I mean the hazelnut. Hazelino. It, has, it looks like a chocolate if you put it that way. It has a design at the t on the bottom there. Okay. Actually, let me refill the water tank. I just wanted to quickly clean this because lo it looked like it was just so dirty. So I know, right? It's so stupid to be doing that when your coffee's brewing and you get Windex in your coffee, but I was careful. There, shinier. Yeah, so I haven't really vlogged since the last clip, which was during the week. And then uh, on the weekend, I did not vlog at all. I just didn't feel like picking up the camera. 
didn't get much done. I did work on comics most of the weekend and then I cleaned the house. Well, did some chores around the house and I went to Costco, so yeah. It's about 7.36 in the morning. I'm gonna start my day off by starting to edit the vlog so I can have it up maybe tonight or tomorrow. And then yeah, that's the plan so far. Mm. Yeah, I need coffee. <laughs> I guess let me take a quick second here downstairs to update you. Um, yeah, so I worked on some comics. I'm going to be releasing more Spice Cake pages up today. Uh, um, and then I'll be working on the commission this week. Hopefully get that done by the end of the week is my goal. I, I launched my class yesterday for class 101. So it's the campaign period where I have to reach 200 votes. I'm about a quarter of the goal today which is okay i have a week to get to 200 and last time it's kind of like it's playing out like last time where i i i need to keep you know kind of spamming it on my social media to get the traction so i'm gonna do a whole posting thing this morning to just update people and be like i'm here and i'd like to get up to here so that was the that's the part that i kind of I've been thinking about this. I was thinking about this in bed last night. Like, I'm on social media a lot, but in terms of advertising stuff, I'm not very good at it, I think. So, like, even my YouTube videos. Like, I, I post stuff on YouTube every week, but I never really advertise it. It's the whole process, I think. It's I just don't want it to get so soulless where I just post and post and post. So I post stuff that I enjoy and I, I want to share, but if it comes to, like, you know keeping it up and trying to grow something I guess from posting whenever you have something new I just it, I don't do it every time I don't know what it is I think maybe I just need need somebody to do it for me but I I'm not at that point in my career where I can hire somebody to you know publicize my work but let's publicize or market my work uh, so yeah um, we'll see how much we get to the votes today if I get another 50 votes that'd be really cool but I highly doubt that I feel like I'm capping off now at the people who are totally interested who decided to you know vote and sign up for it as I posted it up and that's about 50 people <laughs> yeah um anyway I'm just really excited if it does get to go through I would love to prepare you know a more in-depth uh, color pencil illustration course and I feel like I'm at that I'm ready now to share that I, I'm kind of hesitant I was kind of hesitant to share you know teaching stuff like this because I feel like I was in the beginner stages of it at least now I feel like I have a bit more insight into the process oh and I also did not post it on my discord I've been a little shy on my discord because I've been so busy and I haven't been posting there so I should post it there just so people know if they if you know they don't know and yeah, pretty much. That that's pretty much it. I watched a couple things over the weekend. I watched Captain Fantastic, I think, on Netflix, which is pretty good. It's like a it's a family movie. All right, I'm gonna head up upstairs and start working on the vlog. Oh, um, I didn't mention this, but I went to Staples when I was at work. I went to Staples and I had to grab something from work, so I grabbed stuff for myself. I know I have a pencil sharpener but I wanted this same one I really liked it and I like having holding a pencil sharpener in my other hand while I work on color pencils so I bought one I bought this which I'm really excited about it is a two-in-one uh, correction fluid so it has the brush foam brush but it also has the pen and I've been trying to I've been so stalling on getting one of these because I need it when I, I'm inking I ran out of my older pen so this is great. I want to try it out. I feel like it might not be as good because it's, you know, advertising something like two in one, but it'll work for now. I want to try it. And then I got more erasers because I seem to be losing that one eraser every time. So I decided to just stock up and buy this pack. And yeah, um, the best eraser out there. Oh, uh, this, this thing I wanted to show you. So this is one of the pages of my comic Spice Cake. I decided to print it out um, as how it would look so I did and this is the 
size that I drew it at. I drew it based on like, you know, your kind of typical manga size. And so I'm comparing it with the mangas that I have. I have here my lesbian experience with loneliness, which I really love. <laughs> Good book. And then I also have Junji Ito's Cat Diary, which was actually a gift from um, Furu a while ago. Such a nice gift. So thoughtful. Thank you, Furu. I hope you are doing well. I don't know if you are still watching my vlogs. I know you're busy with, you know, school and stuff. But um, anyway such a good book if you don't have one if you don't have this book and you like manga and you like junji ito it's not horror it looks horrific sometimes but it's just a book about his cats i'm sure you've heard of it anyway um so i was trying to compare sizes and i think it looks pretty good like the printout versus the comic i mean maybe it's slightly bigger maybe i should make it bigger but the font is you know readable Eventually, I'd like to see it printed. I'd want to, you know, see how it looks, but I'm not thinking at that point yet because I've only started, you know, redrawing Spice Cake or re restarted Spice Cake. Um, but yeah, I thought that was an interesting kind of, you know, experiment. Anyway, um, vlog. All right. Um, hopefully, my battery holds. So, um, be I I was gonna sit down and edit the vlog, but I remembered that I was going to read a journal entry from the Twelve Year Old Joy Journal because a bunch of you guys uh, enjoyed it. So I've decided in every vlog we'll read one entry. So we'll start from the beginning. Um, I'll even show you the first page uh, where it has like my old info. I blo blocked out the old info because I don't want to show that it's old. I don't use it anymore, but it would be, you know, I think it'd be safer if I don't show it. So here is the beginning page. I don't know what that is. I think I was just testing out a pen or something. But this is the 411, all right, journal. Okay, so let's start. Um, property of Joy P. Santiago, birth date 21st, April 1990. I think I had a picture of myself here, that um, like a real picture, and then I used it for something else, so I took it out. Um, age 12 years old with a Z at the end, my school. My telephone number, I had my address, I have my email there, it's an old email, I don't use it anymore, so don't email that. My phone number, and then I put a quote here, which I probably repeatedly changed. It just says, you change, and then I didn't, con <laughs> I didn't continue it. Let me try and read what it was. Um, yeah, I, I can't read it, but yeah, that's the first page. So we'll go to the first journal entry right here, written in pencil. This one is uh, was written on Sunday, September 29th, 2002 at 9.10 p.m. Okay, so, Dear Diary, my name is Joy, Joy P. Santiago. I am 12 years old and I got this diary yesterday. I want to get serious with this one. I'll write on it whenever there's a chance. I just came, well, I came home at 4.30 p.m. from a party, uh, blank, from a party, blank. She, the person's name. She had just turned 12. I'm older than her because I'm on April. We also had a slumber party. It was fun, but walking all the way to blank street isn't. Walking is nice though. I like walking now. <laughs> the party was fun, a little flirty. We had tried putting makeup on. Oh, okay. We had tried putting makeup and nail polish on. For a dark, mysterious girl like me, it all looks weird. <laughs> wow. I felt like I was the main character or something. It was fun, question mark? Yes, we stayed up until 3 in the morning and woke up at 8 a.m. But right before that, it was the party. A little redundant. Blank, Blank, and me were the only ones who came. Blank had to go to a farewell party, in quotes. And Blank wasn't allowed to, huh? There was cake, pancit, and chicken. It tasted just fine, but I love the cake. It's mostly made of chocolate and vanilla ice cream. I should have asked for another slice. That's when I could eat ice cream. <laughs> then we watched a movie, actually two. First was A Walk to Remember by a guy <laughs> and Mandy Moore. <laughs> by a guy and Mandy Moore. Uh, then Panic Room by Jodie Foster and a kid. <laughs> that's so weird. I'm, the movie is not by the actors, but that's funny. Um, that movie is good. I give it a 10 out of 10. And they say, duck. In in parentheses, fuck, word more than 20 times. Cool. And I spelled cool, uh, K-E-W-L, with and then three exclamation marks. Cool. 
After watching until 1 a.m., we talked at Blank's room for two hours all about guys. It makes me remember Blank all the time from the letter. Okay, I'll say I'll say the name of the this guy because he's gonna be in the in the um in the diaries for a while. So this was a guy I had a crush on, I think. Not I think, I know. Yeah, I had a crush on him. His name was Paul. I'm sure you guys can't track him down. Um after a while okay, we for two hours all about guys it makes me remember paul all the time from the letter p's in the word happy birthday <laughs> and his cute blue eyes dreamy spelled d-r-e-a-m-i-e -E. anyways my writing's getting funny i'll write tomorrow bye bye tomorrow is spelled with a two and um i spelled bye bye b-u-h uh, dash bye 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 joy and then for some reason on the next page, I wrote Sunday, September 29th, 2002, 10 p.m. Anyway, yeah, so that's the first entry. I drew a little heart on the top there. Yeah, so Paul is going to be coming up a lot because he was my first boyfriend. Um, yeah, so Joy had a party. I got, I actually got this diary from the party. They had like a goodie bag for the, for, for us, I guess. And included in that goodie bag was this diary, which I wrote on after I got back home. So that is the first entry in the Joy Diaries. So I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I just noticed that the stickers, they're kind of worn out, but they're, it's a skull. And it says, keep out. So I have two of those. It says, stop. And then one of them is, is really gone. I think they're just eyeballs. And then at the top, it's a diary with J-O-Y. So yeah, that is the first entry. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll read the next one in the next vlog. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are still watching right now, thanks so much for sticking around. But I wanted to let you know that um, I've been updating Spice Cake, so check it out if you are interested in reading and, continue to, and continuing to read. Um, it encourages me to know that people read it so yeah uh, also I wanted to mention that class the class 101 campaign I think I mentioned it earlier is now live so if you are interested in learning with me or trying to get that going I'll leave a link down below so you can vote um, to get it going if you vote if you sign up you don't have to pay anything it's just the beginning stages and you you are signed up for like a $25 off coupon but it's, yeah it's just the beginning it's a campaign where um, they're trying to gauge interest into this class so I don't have to work on it until I definitely have the backing or the interest so I'm not doing any you know work I just had that call I filled up a Google form but if I get to 200 votes then I will go on to the next stage which is you know planning it out even more so yeah I will leave a link down below if you are interested in that I appreciate it if you do sign up for it um, I will be seeing you guys in the next video either an art journal or something else i'm not sure um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your week i might be streaming this thursday i don't know if you'll see it in time but i will be trying to stream at least once a week again because i just feel like it so let's see where that goes as well so yeah thanks for watching and 